changing bearings probably every three, four months. It was a four to five hour task with two men. Two bearings at the bottom, that would be one every three months, and then two bearings at the top every three to four months. And the ball bearing was just disappearing. You know, the seals were going, it was shattering, it, you know, the casings were going. Um, because there was a lot of up and down pressure. And it was, I don't think it was a lot to do with the speed, but it was to do with the ingress of the sawdust, the vibration, and they just top and bottom of it weren't heavy enough. To try and put a bigger unit in, stronger, and move away from a ball to a roller to get a better surface area and a better coverage, and we haven't looked back since. It's 12, 14 months on, um, and they're still going strong. Um, not noticing any changes in them, still performing well and uh, well might it continue. Cost uh, savings yeah. for that have got to be massive because engineers are doing other jobs now on the weekend rather than that being an every three months run. It's not only the bearings, it was the shafts that it was taking as well so every other time we'd have to change the shaft because it's spun or worn or you know it was pitted and yeah no so 